Hey guys, so in this video we'll be creating this page that you see in front of you. I have obviously done some minor modifications to the actual images that are used uh, based on the final result of the video, but obviously you can replace uh, this particular layout with any images that you want. Uh, before we begin, I'd just like to say do subscribe, do, let, do like the video if you like it again, and do share it, and especially, especially, especially do let me know if you have any concerns, any questions, or if there are specific things that you would like to see uh, in, on this channel. So without further ado, let's just get started. So I already have my project created. I have the CSS file linked. I have the responsive viewport there. Uh, I'm going to go to the dribble page just to see it. So we have the header, we have four links here, we have a search box. Again, I'm not going to implement like the popover functionality or anything along those lines that may require JavaScript. But for starters, we're just going to visually create what we see on the page without interacting with it. So let's just go and do exactly that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create my body tag. In the body, I'm going to add a header, I'm going to add a navigation, I'm going to add a section f for this particular thing and I guess like probably we can have um, yeah let's just add a but since like the section actually and this particular section and the navigation actually has the same padding I'm actually going to move the navigation into a div I'm uh, yeah let's just move it into a div and I'm gonna wrap my section and my div uh, I'm going to wrap my navigation and my section in that div. So here we have the elements that we want. I'm also going to create, let's say, a card, div.card. That's going to be the card. We're going to have the navigation here, and we're going to have the header here. So let's say for starters, we just want to, let's say, create the header. And for the header here, what we, what we want to do is, let's say, we want to go ahead and inspect the code and... Let's, let's just see like the padding that's applied to it. Well, I can't really see the padding here, but I can again see the SVG code for this particular image. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna copy it and I can paste it here. And as you can see, we have the SVG file for the logo here. So as you can see, we have that. And just for starters, I'm gonna actually uh, drag the SVG uh, in Figma just so I can actually, let's say, export it as an image. I'm gonna obviously reduce it down to the content that's there. I'm gonna go and export and I'm gonna say export and I'm gonna say dribble minus logo. So I have this in the desktop, uh, on, on my desktop. I'm gonna go to my uh, files. I'm gonna create a folder here uh, called images or IMG and I'm just gonna drag this dribble into my IMG and as you can see we have the SVG file here. So instead of using this SVG here, I'm just gonna call this SVG. I, I'm gonna do an image tag. I'm gonna say it's uh, the image that I want is in the IMG folder and I'm gonna give it an alternate uh, text if the image does not load for some reason even though it should load. So here you go, we have this particular thing. Now let's just see the height of, like you can again, like I'm pressing like Command Shift C to actually get this pointer. So uh, Command Shift C actually activates this pointer where you can hover over things, you can see their height, you can see their width. So that's exactly what I'm doing. If I hover over it, you can see the margin is zero and 24, the font size is 16 and the height is 80 pixels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a height of 80 pixels, that's 80, I'm gonna give it a, padding on the left and the right of we have the vertical alignment there now I'm gonna actually create a div in there as well so we firstly have the image the image is going to be linked so again I'm gonna wrap it in an anchor tag so I wrapped it using the alt or the option and W key so that allows me to actually wrap things into tags and yeah I just pressed a it automatically detected that I wanted to wrap it in the a tag and yeah so I have it wrapped and then let's, what else do we have? We have some other links here. So I'm gonna again open an anchor tag. I'm gonna say this is inspiration. I'm just gonna copy this three times. Inspiration, find work, uh, learn, and hire designers. So here we have these three things. Obviously uh, they're not coming into a single line and the reason for that is uh, let's just go ahead and have a look. This div obviously is not expanding completely. So let's just go ahead and well, let me just have a look at it. So we have this anchor tag, then we have another anchor, we have another anchor, and, we've, and we have another anchor. 
and that pretty much looks fine one problem that we see here is that it's giving a display block to the image element and because of that it's having the it has the image in a separate line and some of the other links in uh, another one i'm just basically going to say i want all of them in the same line so just give uh, display flex to it similarly i want some spacing in between of these elements i'm just guessing the spacing probably is uh, i'm i'm gonna just do this to actually this is like to take screenshots but i also use it to roughly measure the things here so i think like it's 27 so i'm just gonna give spacing between them that's gonna be 24 so i'm gonna say space minus x minus 6 that's gonna give a uh, 24 pixel spacing between all of these elements i can see the font size for this particular text is actually 14 so instead of saying text base i'm gonna say text minus sm that's gonna make this 14 i'm also gonna give it let's i think like it's also slightly bold Mm, obviously I'm using a separate font so let's just save font minus medium and that's gonna slightly bold it I think that looks good and now let's go ahead and create some of the elements here so we have the search bar uh, I'm gonna say i.far.fa so again I'm using the font awesome icons and then fa minus search and if we go here uh, we obviously don't see it because we don't have our font awesome file or kit located in there but i'm just going to quickly go to my font awesome page to download that so here i have the kit and i have downloaded the kit and placed it here i just need needed to copy a link for that and here we have the search bar now and i can just keep on doing whatever it is that i was doing again I'm going to wrap this particular search bar into an anchor tag as well. And obviously I can wrap it in a button as well. I think like wrapping it in a button probably makes more sense. So we have the search bar <coughs> and we have it wrapped in the button. Then we have, I'm also going to give the button a width and a height. So the width of the button should be 32. So, and the height should also be 32. So I'm going to give it a W and H minus W minus and W minus eight and H minus eight, uh, and then give it a background on hover. So I'm going to say when I hover it, I want the background to be, let's say BG minus gray and then hundred. So as you can see, we have some background applied here as well on the icon. I think it's, it's not here, but I think like just the, the background probably looks fine. Uh, so here we have the button and I'm just going to copy this button like multiple times because we may be using it here as well. So we have this briefcase and I'm going to go to my font awesome icons to see uh, a briefcase icon. So I'm going to say briefcase. I'm not sure if there's a briefcase icon, but maybe there is. So yeah, we have a briefcase icon. I'm going to make it solid by using F FAS instead of FAR. So here we have a briefcase solid icon and then we have the envelope icon we have a line chart icon i'm going to say envelope and then let's see what the icon is for a line chart line chart or something so we don't have an exact correlation with the icon but i'm just going to say chart minus line for now just for the sake of this video so here we have a bunch of these icons i also think that the width and the height should actually be increased and instead of actually giving this or repeating this i'm going to say this is a header minus icon minus button i'm going to give it as a class like that and i'm going to go to my uh, hcss file and i'm going to say it's going to have at apply a width and a height of let's say 40 so i'm going to give it that i'm going to give it a border or sorry a border radius of four so here we have the border radius of four and i'm going to say on hover it's actually going to have a bg minus gray minus 100 so let's just see how that worked around so as we can see okay it looks good i think this is fine the text size should slightly be increased i think it's sh these icons are slightly larger on the dribble page so as we can see okay these are larger now um, however the text size uh, the the text color is slightly dimmed so i'm going to say text minus gray minus let's say 600 just to gray this text a bit more for the icons and i think this probably looks fine so we have the avatar now let's go ahead and create the avatar but for now for just for now i'm actually gonna move these icons to the right and keep this to the left so as we've covered in our flexbox video which i'll uh, link in this particular 
uh, on, on the screen if you want to have a look at it. I'm ju just going to say justify between and that's going to again give maximum space between these two elements. The icons are on the right and the some of the other links are on the left. Similarly here I'm going to give it an avatar. I'm going to say the width and the height for this should also be 1010 and it should be rounded minus full. And I don't even need to give it this. Uh, I'm just going to grab a random uh, photo random user photo let's say and we have the photos random random photos generator here we have some of the gents photos and i'm just going to go here i'm going to grab this particular photo copy uh, the url for this and here's the url and i'm just going to use this instead of a div so here we have the image i'm going to remove this div i don't think we need it and we have the image generated here Similarly, as to what I did previously, I'm going to give it a flex to align everything in this uh, in the center. I'm going to give a space between these items. I don't really want to give like too much space. I'm just going to give a space on the left of this particular image. I'm going to say the space on the left should be six. And as we can see, we have the space. We have the icons. And I think, yeah. I think that's that. I don't know why the image is not being generated. Probably because I didn't really get it correctly. So we have this image. Let's just have a look like if the URL is fine. I'm going to open it in a new tab. So we, we are getting and getting the image, but for some reason I don't see it. So let's just have a look at it. Refresh it again. So we don't see the image for some reason. Let me just download one of these images. So I'm just going to download this image, save image as user. And I'm going to, again, we already have this image now. I'm just going to move this image from here to the image uh, folder. I'm going to say, uh, what's this? Uh, okay, I'm just going to say that the URL for this image is going to be img slash and then user dot jpg i think yeah jpeg and just gonna save it just gonna go here and hopefully we can see the image now which we don't okay sorry there's an actual minor typo here which is exactly why we weren't seeing the image but now we can see it we can probably do the same there as well this is this was particularly the reason we weren't able to see it but let's just remove it here i want to give like some spacing between all of these elements, I'm just going to give it a space minus x minus 2. So we have some spacing here and we have the header done. I just want to create a button here really quickly. I'm going to say button. I'm going to give it an upload text. I'm going to say the width of the button. The height of the button should be h minus 10. Again, 40. The padding of the button, padding x means uh, the, the horizontal padding should be, let's say, 16. And we have the button, I'm going to say BG minus pink minus 400 or something along those lines. I think that probably 600, I'm going to say rounded minus SM. And probably, I think just rounded is probably fine. I'm going to say text minus white. So here we have the button. I'm going to give this particular button a slight uh, increased margin which I can't really because obviously um, this particular button is taking the margin from its container uh, or from yeah from its container so I'm gonna wrap it in a div and then I'm gonna give it a margin so ml minus six let's say so as we can see we have some spacing in there so I think it looks good it's slightly more rounded so I'm gonna say rounded minus MD just to make it slightly more rounded the button is also very dark here uh, so I'm just going to reduce it. I think this looks much better. I'm going to give it a rounded minus Excel to further round it even more. Uh, rounded minus, uh, let's just give it a 2XL to just take it to a, a probably like 4XL, I think. Sorry, I'm actually giving it to the wrong, <laughs> giving it to the wrong thing. So we need to have full here and let's just give it a 4XL here. So let me let me do we even have a 4xl probably not let's just give it a 2xl and have a look at it yeah or probably 2xl doesn't look good let's just make it excel so yeah this is probably fine actually i don't like it i like the larger one 
so I think this is probably fine let's just go ahead and create uh, the nav the second navigation for it so for the second navigation we basically have let me just close this okay so for the search we didn't re don't really have like the search icon here because if it's wide it gives you a search bar but for now I'm just gonna keep the search icon so for the navigation we basically have another button here I'm just gonna copy this button I'm gonna go to my navigation I'm gonna paste it and as we can see it has a height has a, it has a padding everything's fine I just want to give it a border and then border minus gray minus 300 probably is fine or maybe 200 and I just want to give a an icon to it as well so I'm gonna say I dot far dot fa minus angle minus down and yeah let me just uh, do not disturb just so I don't receive a lot of notifications so here we have this particular button and I have a text minus white applied to it which is obviously why we can't see the text so yeah now we can see it I'm just gonna give this whole navigation a font size of text minus SM uh, so that looks good let me just remove this margin okay so we still don't see the icon for a particular reason so let's just have a look at it why don't why we don't see it so okay sorry I actually need to give a space instead of a dash here so we should be able to see the icon now so yeah we see it I just want to give some spacing between the icons so again I'm gonna say space minus X minus 2 just to give an 8 pixel spacing between the icon and the text so we have space minus x minus 2 yeah that should give it a margin well it's not giving it because I don't have this upload wrapped in a span so let's just do that save it again and here we have the extra spacing applied uh, which looks fine I also want to give uh, the page some margin some padding from the left and the right so let's just go ahead and give it to the whole div I want to say the padding on the left and the right should be 16 obviously it shouldn't be 16 it should be 16 into 4 whatever that value is so here we have some spacing here let's go ahead and add some of these tags here so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna create a div and I'm gonna or probably yeah probably a ul and I'm gonna just make a list of these tags I'm gonna give it an anchor inside as well and I'm gonna say all and I'm gonna give this particular ul a navigation minus tags class I'm gonna go to my styles I'm gonna say navigation minus tags and the li or the anchor in there is gonna have a uh, a width and a height of the height should be 10 the padding should be I don't know th three maybe so that basically means the 12 pixel left and right padding the bowered border radius should be I think six pixels probably fine the hover state should be hover is to BG minus gray minus 300 maybe and yeah let's just have a look at it so let's go back to our page here we have this obviously the height isn't applied because by default the anchor element is not a block or an inline block or anything along those lines so I'm basically going to say that and every anchor is just going to be a inline block so let's just do that I think it's that's going to increase the yeah that's going to increase the height or probably inline flex because I want to center it as well so inline flex and then items minus center that's going to vertically center the content inside as well so here we have that the hover is slightly uh, a bit more prominent so I'm just going to reduce it and I'm just going to duplicate it duplicate this I'm going to give this whole thing this whole navigation a flex and I'm just going to say justify between so here we have that on the navigation we can also say on this navigation tags we can also say this is a flex just so I have all of the items side by side and we have all and then animation and let's say branding illustration what else do we have mobile print let's just duplicate it a couple more times print product design typography and then web design web design so let's just have these for now and obviously we can play around with this even more so and then also let's just go ahead and add one more button to the right 
so we have another button on the right let's what what the, that's button that's like the filters button so let's just go ahead and add filters here and since the icon is on the left let's just move this uh, i tag and move it to the left i'm also just gonna move uh, these things on a separate line just so they're more readable so as you can see we have the icon on the left and let's see filter i'm not even sure if there is a filter icon P probably there is so let's just have a look uh, so we have like do we have a filter icon so let's just save it let's just refresh it again i'm gonna see never translate this site so we have this filters icon obviously we can change the icon to whatever we want but let's just keep it that way i'm going to say as you can see like uh, the tags are spanning into multiple lines so i'm going to say that all of these tags are going to have a white space of no wrap and white space no wrap means that these would not wrap and these would always be uh, spanning in a straight line so as you can see they're doing that but now obviously some of the content is actually exceeding the flex box so we want to do the same we actually want to say hey so if we let's say go here and we go to the navigation uh, we go to the button what we basically want to say is that this particular navigation if we go here and if we just give it a class of flex minus one and we also want to give one more thing here or like a few more things so i also want to say the max width of this particular thing should be i don't know 90 percent or something max or probably i can just give it a width let's say i'm i'm gonna give it a width and then uh let's say what can i say um, five over six or like let's say four over six or something along those lines and then i'm going to give it an overflow hidden as well so just so the text doesn't overlap uh its container so as you can see like okay we have that we have the this effect going on let me just give it a padding left and the right as well this particular navigation just so we have some more spacing on the left and the right of it before it, it's actually cutting off so let's just go ahead and see what happened here so we have this and we have the padding applied here as well uh um, let's just see i'm gonna give it a bo box sizing and then the border box and let's just see how that looks obviously that's not going to create that much of a difference because uh we don't it's already a border box so i'm going to actually create another wrapper div around it i'm going to give it a px minus 10 so that it contains this div and gives it a margin accordingly and let's just see how that worked so we have where do we have that div so we have this div here obviously we need to apply the width and the height thing here as well so here we have the width and the height thing i'm gonna give it to the container div okay so now i think this looks pretty much pretty similar to what we actually wanted it to be uh, perhaps we don't even need to give the padding on the left so let me just reduce the padding on the left and the right and let's just see how that looks right now so yeah i think this looks good and obviously this is actually going to uh, cut off the extra text and we can add those arrows but i'm not going to do that right now so obviously we can see that we have some spacing on the top of this navigation as well so i'm just going to go here and i'm going to say we also have some spacing at the bottom so i'm just going to say it's going to apply a spacing both to the top and to the bottom so i can perhaps even remove this i can just say that give the spacing give this give this 16 spacing 16 to 4 whatever that is like what is it 64 spacing all around uh, this particular nav element I think that's slightly larger than I want, so I'm just going to keep it px minus 16 and then, then py minus 10. That's going to be slightly smaller. I'm going to go to my header. I'm going to say that there's a border on the header as well. So I'm going to say border minus b and then border minus gray minus 200. So the border is going to be gray. Let's just see how that looks. So the border should hopefully be applied to the header. So yeah, here it is. We have the navigation here and now we just have one more element remaining which is the card and on the card we basically have an image and we have some text here we have the team we have the like and we have the views 
So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab an image. I think this image looks really good. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna copy this image. I'm probably just gonna copy the image address of this image. I'm gonna say the image is this particular address, dribble image or whatever it is. I'm gonna give this image a, a rounded, rounded corner. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be rounded minus Excel maybe because I think like this image is slightly larger. It needs a slightly more prominent radius to it as well. So as we can see, we have the image here and I actually wanted to give this PY minus 10 to the navigation. So I'm just gonna give it to the navigation so the navigation have some, has some breathing room below the image as well. Here we should have ideally the image. Let's just go ahead and add the name as well. Obviously we have the image as well and the name. I'm just gonna pick the user image that we have to place here. So I'm gonna say image minus user. I'm the width of this. Let's just see what the width of this particular image is. So the width of images is 24 by 24. So let's just give it 24 by 24. Class W minus six, H minus six, and then rounded full to just make it completely rounded. We are gonna have the title here as well. So I'm just gonna give it, uh, probably I can give it in a div. So Mahrukh Parways. I'm gonna make it slightly bold, font minus bold. And then I have so I'm gonna wrap these things into a div because I want them to sit on the left. And then I have some of the icons on the right. So I'm just gonna give it an icon, i.fer.fa minus heart. And then besides the heart, we have two. And then we have another one, which is the fa minus i. And then we have, let's say 68. So let's just see how that looks. So we have a user image here, we have the icons here and what we basically want to do now is we just want to say flex and then justify between uh, to have all of these things on, on the same line similarly I go here and I say flex I'm gonna go here I'm gonna say flex just to have them on the same line and I think like that looks good I think the font size should probably be smaller for the whole thing so I'm gonna say text minus sm just to make it 14 i think this looks good the image and the the text aren't aligned to the center so i'm going to say items minus center now they are centered and i'm going to say the space between the image and the text should be i don't know 16 yeah i think probably not 16 12 i think that looks good and i'm going to apply the same thing here and it's going to have that give that spacing the 12 spacing here and there and let's just go and see, okay, so there's some spacing at the top of the image as well. What I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna give it a margin top of let's say, uh, I don't know, 12 pixels. I think that should be fine. So yeah, I think that looks fine. We have all of these things and obviously we can make these icon, uh, these divs buttons as well if you want, want them to be clickable. So I'm gonna say button. So these should be clickable now. Uh, but obviously we haven't configured the functionality since I'm just working on the visuals. So we have this card created. So I can just go ahead and I can, first of all, this is not living within that card. So I just need to move it within the card. So we have this single card created. I can just go ahead and I can duplicate this card. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have these six cards here. I can go ahead and I can say that these are gonna be organized in a grid. Uh, the grid is going to span into uh, multiple columns. So I'm going to say grid minus calls minus, let's say, three. So by default, it's going to be one. And then we have grid minus call minus two. And then on large screens, we're going to have grid, grid minus call minus three. So let's just have a look at it. So as we can see, we have all of the things here. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and quickly apply some spacing in between of these elements as well. So let's say I want to have a 40 pixel spacing between them. So yeah, here we have the page similar to Dribble. We have some of these images here. We have, obviously we can add more functionality to it, but this is largely what the page looks like. And then I can, let's say, resize this page as well. So on desktop, obviously I want slightly more elements. So I'm gonna say on Excel grid minus call minus, let's say five elements on really large screens. So as you can see, we have this. Now I'm gonna resize this page. 
so as you can see the resizing works obviously on really small screens all of these things squish together but if i go here and if i resize it we can see it has some menus here some of the some of the things here disappear obviously this is turning into two columns similar to what we have here uh, the padding gets reduced so we can also do that but generally you have the page created and this is how you let's say quickly just create a bunch of these pages in just let's say a few minutes so now as you can see on really large screens the the content isn't really appearing uh, in the center so similarly i'm just going to go here i am going to i'm going to say uh, i actually applied a width to these buttons as well so where is so here we have the width i'm going to say flex and then justify minus center because i want all of this content to be centered and now i can remove it and as okay so it's still not centered let's just experiment here so we have this particular container and we have justify center uh, and then this particular container is taking the whole space so let's just let's see if, if we remove flex minus one as we can see now it works and if we resize it it's working still fine so that's what we wanted to do we wanted to remove this flex minus one so where is flex minus one let's just go ahead and remove it and here we have uh, a slightly working responsive page we can actually go ahead and make it more responsive in our next video but that's how you can just go ahead and quickly create a page like that i'm going to show you what the page actually looks like after i do some modifications to it so as you can see it looks like this it's still the same page some minor modifications to the images obviously i've updated the images i've dupl duplicated the card uh, cards and you know now that it looks really well Obviously, some of the spacing adjustments and all of that, we can do that in another video and we can also tweak the responsive view as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon and leave any comments if you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it.